what's going on? Uh, welcome back for another video here. Uh, as you guys can see, we're working on the, uh, I guess if you want to call this build, the KAT build, because uh, that's the plan as of now. But we're gonna, today we're going to be changing out the clutch, because as you guys saw from the last video... <laughs> Nothing! Um, the clutch is completely gone, so right now we obviously got the thing on the jack, on the hoist. We're de-stickering it right now. And then uh, after that, we're just going to, I guess... Drain the fluid, take the drive shaft out, and then you know work on getting the whole tranny off without taking the motor out. Try to make it as easy as we can because uh, it's a four banger. There's a lot more room than if we were to do it, you know, with a with a JT or an RB. Otherwise, we probably take the whole motor out. But in this case, we got pretty lucky, so we're gonna dive right into things and uh, catch in a bit. All right, guys, so we got the car in the air. <clears throat> uh, we're now next thing as you guys can see all the residue on this thing. It's pretty gross. I'm actually amazed all the oil is on this thing. But yeah, take this thing out. If it does come out, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little hard. Oh yeah, make sure we're good here. We got a pan. It's gonna be gross. We just checked the oil level on this thing, and there it didn't even show up on the dipstick. So that's always good. It's gonna it's gonna be really yeah. This is not gonna smell good. We all know what oil or gear oil smells like. It's gonna splatter. Yeah. Nah, I won't splatter. Just make sure it's. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that good? Oh, God. Ew. Look at that, it's like separated. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Oh, it did. Look at all the oil filings on it. Look at all the, or the uh, metal filings. That's from your gears, bro. Those were gears. They are now. Yeah, I'm shavings. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's probably gonna get on my camera. I'm gonna be pissed. Those rag. rags are over there. So yeah, once we let this drain out, uh, I'm sorry. I don't know how this is coming out on camera. I, 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 I forgot my battery or my my uh, memory card for the GoPro at home. Luckily, you know, I worked out well. So I'm at using this thing. Haven't used it in a while, but this thing, of course, is pretty good video. So now we're gonna take the drive shaft out. Uh, disconnect all these little plugs like the speed sensor and all that good stuff and then um, work on getting all the bolts off but I'll, I'll touch back to you guys when we get the bolts off. So the drive shaft is out, we got all the nasty fluid out, we're working on getting all these bolts off, you know, from along the bell housing. The two up top by the engine were kind of hard, we tried to get them, you know, with the car lowered and, you know, from the engine bay, but that didn't work out. We got the drive shaft out, um, what's next? This is, what's next? Now we, yeah, last thing to get the whole tranny free is to get these whole tra uh, cross member bolts out. And then we got the shifter out as well, remember to do that. And then, let's see what else, oh look we have a, what? They got a mount to the tranny on the exhaust. What's that? I've never seen that before. That's just probably some factory way it goes, but actually, you know what? I have seen that, but it's pretty weird, yeah. So now we're gonna make sure you guys take off all the uh, speed sensors and all that good stuff. I feel like a lot of people go you know, around that and then they end up yanking them out. And then from there, I guess, I don't know, I'll show you guys what it looks like when we're actually taking the whole thing out. It's probably gonna be a little bit hard, but not as hard as you guys think, so. Yeah, stay around. Sweet. All right, so now only thing left to do, I guess, is to uh, take off the cross member bolts. I think those are seventeens. Once this is loose, dude, we're uh, we're off to the races. So. Fuck. Oh. Well, that didn't work. You got my extensions, dude. Yes. Or at least my one. I feel like this light's gonna catch me on fire, Helen. Yeah, that's, that's loose. That's loose. Yes! Okay. Okay. So now. Is there any fluid? Nope. Yes. 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 Yeah, 
pads out. Hold on. Push it up a little bit. I'm trying, but this one thing. Oh. <laughs> right. She's out. I got pissed on by gear oil. I <laughs> he's covered. Oh. So here we have, as I'm out of breath, the absolute. You can smell the clutch. Yeah. You can smell it right now, actually. Oh my god. I'm curious to see what we're gonna do now after that huge headache. As I catch my breath, undo all these bolts, but don't go in a circle. You wanna go, you know, one here, go across and stuff like that. So we're gonna work on that. Then the whole clutch will pop right out, and then I'll show you guys what we're putting in there. All right, guys, so we got the whole pressure plate off, and man, this clutch, I mean, it just reeks. Like, in the air, you can just smell it. And there's, like, little, I see a little chunk missing right here. Obviously, we got it held in by the tools, so we're going to take this out. This thing, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's, like, chunks missing out of this. There's actually chunks out of this clutch, so. Uh, yeah, there's, it's definitely time to replace it, for sure. So it was slipping real bad. So... Let me show you guys what we're putting in here, very quick. Uh, this was in my old K, my first 240 had this clutch. It's a ACT, six buck obviously, uh, unsprung stage five I think. And uh, with a heavy duty pl pressure plate. So yeah, this, is, this clutch is the real deal. Like I thought the clutch in my car was pretty grabby, but this, this is the next level. So we're gonna put this thing in. And uh, we're going to be doing some skids afterwards, so yeah. So we're also going to be replacing the pilot bushing. Um, it's a little, it's a thing, oh god. Oh, Sorry. Like, <laughs> it's a little piece of metal, it's like a little, I don't know if you guys can see that thing right there, but you got to take this out, and the way we do it is we're going to stuff bread like all the way in there, bash it in, and eventually this thing will just pop right out. So it sounds weird, but it works like a charm. Eat it. Eat it. Oh. That bread feed action. Ooh. Ooh. So you found this on the floor. Yeah. Keep packing her in. And eventually, the thing will literally pop right out. Alright, well the bread didn't work out as well as we hoped. It worked out fine on my car, but uh, I think this, this, this pilot bearing is super, super caked up in there. It's probably never been changed. So, went to AutoZone, got this little pilot, you know, bearing puller, this thing, you know, that, and then we got a big old, big old hammer here. Well, I don't even know what they're called. What are they called? Uh, I think it's like a pull hammer. Pull hammer or something like that. So, yeah, slide hammer, bam. So, uh, we're going to do that, and that honestly should work way, way better. We got some oil. Uh, we're going to change the oil in the extra motor because nothing showed up on the dipstick. And then uh, got some good old, you know, gear oil. Change that out as well. So, uh, yeah. Watch this not even work. It will. Well, let's just, let me see this right quick. I'm going to bring this. So, basically, I if we get the light in there. Oh, dude. Not, not big enough? It's too, it's too big. I can buy one now. Oh, man. I own it. You guys see that? I don't know if you guys can see that at all. I can't get you to zoom in, right? Hold on. Unfortunately, this just doesn't fit in. I'm not even sure on camera, but we're going to have to file these down or something. That's not going to work. That ain't going to work. So after probably like two hours, what did it take us, like two hours to work on this? Probably like two hours. We finally got it out. This thing worked great. Got the little modification on it, but worked out well, well. Now we drained the oil. There's probably two or three quarts that came out of it, so that's always good. It's supposed <laughs> to be like four quarts, or no, five quarts almost. Yeah. Uh, 4.75 or something like that, so that's always good. Uh, let's see, next thing I guess, put the new uh, you know, pilot bearing in. We're going to toss a little bit of grease on the outside and just you know, push that thing in, make sure she sits flush. And then from there, yeah, clutch will just slide right on. We're going to do an oil change or something like that as well, and uh, yeah, that'll be the day over. Alright, so we got the little pilot bearing in, um, easy part, you know, little clutch alignment tool, fits right in, look at that, so basically that just stays like that, while well, you put your pressure plate on, which we have a new one, this thing is like highly sprung, and, there's and then, uh, yeah, there's actually these little hole, like, see that, um, 
There's a couple tabs. There's like one on the top. There's three of them. So a little bit lower. Yep. And then uh, from there, I just try and get the bottom. Yeah. Yep. It's they're kind of they're kind of fiddly. Because if one's fully in, the other one won't go in. The other kind of go in all at once. So once we do have those on, we're going to just bolt it up in kind of a crisscross fashion. We've got to torque them to like 22 pounds or something like that, but we'll get there once we get there. Try to get this thing on first. It's definitely a pain, but it'll be on there. we be doing that for sure. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess a little better. A little bit better. Yeah, I'm tight, really tight there, but I just snugged them. Close to torque. Close to spec. Guess I'm jacked. I just snugged them. You been hitting the gym? Nope. This is good. You got to Take this out. Bam. She's in. Uh. We're, we're pressured. We're plated. We got a clutch. All right, so we got a little bit of change of plans here. Instead of just popping the tranny on and calling it a day, we're actually going to go a little bit further here and take out the whole motor because uh, it definitely needs to be cleaned out. We're going to take out the stuff that we don't need in there, you know, emission stuff and all that fun jazz. And then after that, um, yeah, so I guess this is basically just to let you guys know there's going to be a part two. Probably going to cut this video out uh, right now. I don't know how long it's going to be, but regardless, it's going to be like a hold on the project. The clutch is in, so that's pretty much good as far as, you know, our main goal. But yeah, we're going to take the whole motor out, get on a stand, clean it up, do what we got to do. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for part two, guys.